Hi everyone, I hope you had a good week and I hope you had fun playing with the puppets you made last week. Well, also in your bag are some scratch activities. I'm sure you may have done these before, they're great fun. Um, you should have a bookmark and a little scratcher. You should also have a key ring. Now, these are very simple to do, but I would like you to think of something you can put on your bookmark. Something to do with reading, because reading is amazing. The more you read, the more things you will know. The more you know, the more you learn, and the more places you will go. And that's Dr. Zeus. Because today, a reader, tomorrow a leader. It's great to read, if you can read. It means that you can learn so much. It's the very best thing that you'll ever do is to read a really good book. So think of a really nice quote that you can put on your bookmark and then you can slide that inside your book. Now these are really simple to do. Um, I've done one here. Well, my one I've put. Don't worry, be happy. Isn't it good to be happy? So. As I say, all you need to do is scratch on them. Really simple, because if you scratch on them, the colour from underneath comes out. So you can put a quote on there, you can write something, you can put something really positive, um, and then you can slide it inside a book. Now, there's a wee ribbon that comes with that, and you'll notice at the top, there's a little hole, pop it out, and you can slip your ribbon inside and that means that you can pop it inside your book and you always know where it is. Here's one of my favourite books, Roald Dahl, the BFG. So, my bookmark is slid right inside there so I know what bit I'm on. Now, with your keyring, think, you, maybe you want to gift your keyring to someone, maybe to um, one of your family members. Um, you could think of something really cool, you could put their name on, you could do a nice picture on. It's very simple, slip it into and then um, squash it over, click it, it clicks into place and you have a keyring. So I'm also going to show you how you can make your own because these are, you've only got two little ones in there. Maybe you want to make a great big picture. I'm going to show you how to make your own. I have made this one myself just using some um, very thin cardboard. You can even use paper. Um, crayons, packet of crayons, you need some black paint and washing up liquid. This is so easy to do, you won't believe how easy it is. What you need to do first of all is get your crayons and colour in. So onto your, just scribble some colours on, you don't need to be really um, precise with it because you want to get as much colour on it as you can because all these colours afterwards will be shining through. I'm going to put a whole mix of things on here. I've got some purple there too. So just scribble a whole lot of different colours on and once you've got that you mix up your paint. So black paint into there, mix it up Put some washing up liquid into it, a good old splurge, and mix all that together. So after you've got all your colours painted on, now on my one, what I did was I left a little ridge around the edge and I knew not to scratch off that bit. And if I wanted to make that a really neat picture afterwards, then I would just trim it off. It gives me space to do that. So once you've got that, you want to just paint your black, your paint your black paint and your washing up liquid over the top. Let it dry. Once it's dry, you can even dry it off with a hair dryer if you're not patient. I'm never very patient. Um, and then what you do is you do a second coat on top as well. So once you've got the second coat, it will be ready. It, once it's dry, it'll be ready to scratch. So once again, you can use your little scratching tool that you had earlier, or you can use anything like um, the edge of Actually, what I did on my ones, I had a pair of tweezers and I used a very pointy bit on the tweezers. And just to show you, so there, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put, um, I'll put my name on here, just to show you it works. My name for short. There you go, cat. And popped it up there. All you do is scrape. And you can put any design. 
Um, if you've got some light card or some paper, card is a little bit better because it's a bit stronger, but you can make fantastic pictures. You can make a great big picture to put on your wall. You can even do something really positive, a really good happy quote and a nice design around it. Or you can put your name on it. You can do, you can draw a picture of your cat or your dog, anything you want. Really simple. So just to remind you, all you need, crayons, piece of card, colour it in like a rainbow, then mix up black paint, any type of black paint will do, with some a good smudge of um, washing up liquid, mix them up. I would say probably about one part washing up liquid, Wish <laughs> one part washing up liquid to two or three parts paint is probably about right. Paint it over, let it dry, paint it over again, and then scrape it off, and you can make your very own scratch art. And next week, I'm going to show you how to make a hanging mobile for your bedroom or for a room in your house. Okay, have fun. Bye.